Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I would like to talk about replacing the sliding dust cover on a G43 or K43 semi-automatic German rifle. The main purpose of the dust cover is to shield the internals of the uh, bolt assembly from uh, debris, dirt, sand, whatever you encounter in the battlefield and keep the bolt mechanism from jamming up. As always when we handle a rifle we want to make sure that there's no ammo in the rifle, no ammo in the chamber so we can handle it safely without injury and the first thing we have to do is we have to set the safety from the firing position to the safe or locked position then we remove the magazine and now we check uh, the chamber, see if there's a round in the chamber there was one and now the rifle is uh, safe to handle so what we need to do first before we can go about removing the uh, sliding dust cover we have to remove the whole bolt assembly from the rifle there's another video that I made and put on YouTube that shows you how to remove the bolt assembly, how to disassemble, reassemble it. Um, I just want to keep it brief here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pull the bolt carrier all the way back on the charging handle in the uh, most rearward position. Then we push down on the lock here and that locks the bolt carrier in place and now we need to remove the whole bolt assembly and we do that by pushing on this little pin here that sticks out in the back we push on the pin at the same time we push it up a little bit and there comes the whole bolt assembly out of the receiver Let's set the rifle aside so now we have to break down the bolt assembly to get to the uh, dust cover and uh, there's a lot of uh, compressed spring force inside this bolt assembly so we want to be careful when we handle it always hold on firmly to the assembly really clutch it in your hand and now uh, slightly bring up the uh, bolt carrier unlock the bolt carrier lock and ease the bolt housing, this part here, ease the bolt housing out of the uh, bolt carrier. Now here's the sliding dust cover and this one is broken. Um, it has four tabs that holds it in place and it's sliding in a rail. So there's a rail and on this side one of the tabs broke off now it's it's wiggling sideways and the bolt carrier is supposed to slide over the dust cover and if it's uh, sideways it may jam and malfunction so we need to remove the sliding dust cover and um, some people are very tempted to just brute force it they will jam a screwdriver right here between the dust cover and the uh, the bolt housing which is not a good idea because you will damage the surface and um, not only will it lose collector value it will also mar the surface and keep the uh, the dust cover from sliding smoothly what we want to do today is we want to take advantage of the fact that there is a long slot in here which allows us to squeeze the um, bolt housing and it makes it easier to release the little tabs from the rails and sometimes it helps if you have something like a guitar pick and you jam it in between and you work a little bit while you're squeezing it and so now it's in here and now you squeeze it a little bit more and there it is it came right out so now you lift up the front portion and you slide it forward 
And if you have a non-damaged, still functioning uh, sliding dust cover with both tabs in the rear, you have to squeeze it again to uh, reduce the distance between the, the little guiding rails and then you can snap the whole assembly out. And to reassemble a new dust cover, and by the way, there are actually two different dust covers for this kind of a um, board housing, which is called the stamped one. There's also a milled version, but the milled version is less um, common. There are two dust covers. This one is the conventional one with the uh, little handle in the back. And this one is called the automatic dust cover. It engages in a little cutout underneath the bolt carrier and it moves back and forth together with the bolt carrier. Uh, this is less common too, so what you usually encounter is probably this version with the, the long tang in the back, the handle. And we want to install this one right now. So in order to do this, we will align the, the rear two tabs with the front portion here of the uh, bolt housing and now we squeeze the bolt housing together and a little push and the rear two tabs already snapped into place. Now we have to carefully ease it back and we need to clear this little end of the cutout which sometimes is a little bit tough to clear but it's doable. So right now it's fighting back a little bit and I'm trying to get it over. There we go. So now it hits the, the front portion so we have to keep a thumb on the rear tabs that are already engaged and press it down at the same time we lift up the front portion bring it slightly over the area where the rail starts and again we squeeze the housing in the front slightly pressed down and there it is, it snapped right into place. It was very easy. So the next step is to reassemble the bolt assembly and for that we um, make sure we properly engage these little pins uh, into the back end of the housing. As I said there's another video that I made that explains how it's done. And from there we have to engage the bolt housing, the bolt and the bolt carrier simultaneously, which sometimes is a little bit of a, of a workout, but there we go. All the way back and we engage it here with the lock and we take our G43. And now we have to find the sweet spot. When you slide the bolt assembly into the receiver, there's one spot where it almost falls right in. All we need to do now is push on the little button here. And there it is, fully engaged. And let's unlock it and there we go. Our replacement dust cover is in place and working properly. Last thing we need to do is Reinsert the magazine and there's your G43 ready for another day at the range. Thank you for watching my video and happy shooting.